Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Audrey. And today I am filming in a little bit different location. I'm in our dining area because it's raining and it's really dark in the bedroom where I usually film. So we just have a little bit of a different background. So y'all, today I have for y'all a dress haul from Kojuin. So I've shown y'all them once before on my channel um, just a few weeks ago and they were kind enough to send me some more dresses. So y'all, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. So like always, everything you need is going to be in the description box down below. I do provide my measurements, the sizes I got, links to each item. If I do add any accessories or extra pieces, I always link those too if they're available. So everything you need will be there or you can always ask me a question in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. So the first piece that we're going to talk about is this really cute caramel roll sleeve dress and I did feature a dress in the same color in my last Kojuin haul and I do have two in this haul of the same color so just different dresses but here it is and I love this style dress with the little drawstring waist I just think they're so pretty especially going into spring and summer so for this one I have a 2xl as you can see and I'm going to get you the material so this one is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. And something that I've kind of added lately is talking about the washing and care instructions, just because a lot of people ask, but they're not really sure. So I've just tried to throw it in there if it's something, you know, if that's helpful at all. So this one is machine wash, dark colors. There you go. So you can throw this one in the washer. I think all of these you can, but I'll let you know. But this one, y'all, is so comfortable and it's really, really soft. It's almost like it has that heathered feel to it, but it's really, really nice. So you do have functioning buttons right up here at the bust and then the drawstring waist and it does go all the way around the dress. So you can have this as loose or as tight as you need it to be. And then you have long sleeves, but they have the roll tab. So I typically push my sleeves up. I've said that many times on here. I really don't like long sleeves because I'm very hot natured and I'm always pulling my sleeves up. So I love when dresses or shirts have this little feature here so you could pull that little string out and tie it up. And this one hits me right, just right below the knee, right at the knee, and I am 5'6". And it does have a deeper v-neck, but nothing too bad. It doesn't show your bra or anything like that. And I love the little seam across the, the shoulder blades, and then it gives a little bit of pleating right here. So very cute dress, not see-through at all. I did not have to layer with this. Just very, very nice piece to have. And now the next two dresses in this haul are the exact same dress, just different colors. I don't have to tell y'all that's that's just how I do. <laughs> so, so this one is the army green and it is the ruffle trim dress. So for this one, I went with the extra large. Now just go by their size chart because most of these dresses except for this one and the next one you're going to see just like it. I went with the extra large based on the measurements and it was perfect. So Kojoin has a really, really accurate size chart. So just compare your measurements to the ones that they provide for these pieces. I did go with the extra large in this one and the next one. Now these two have the exact same fabric makeup as the caramel that y'all just saw. 95% polyester or 5% spandex. And it's really, really soft, but I love the square neck in this one. It's hanging up so you can't really see it that well, but you have a square neck in the front and in the back. And the ruffles start right back here at the back of your shoulder and they come down the front. And you have elastic in the waist, very, very stretchy waist, a lot of room in this one. And you have the ruffle trim at the, at the hem. Now this one hit about the same place on me, right below the knee, right at the knee. And this one is long sleeves. You don't have elastic at the wrist, which I usually like, but it works. It doesn't hang over my hand. They're not too long or anything. The sleeves are perfect. My, my upper arm measurements are in the description box down below as well, if you want to compare those. So one call out about this dress, I do believe that it's made to be tied in the back. So your belt is attached to each side of this dress, as you can see. And, I, and just from the placement of it, I think that it's meant to be tied in the back. 
I never tie dresses in the back. I've, I've mentioned that before. To me, that looks to maternity. I'm just being honest. I do not tie my dresses in the back. I always bring it up to the front and typically off to the left side. So I'm pretty sure that it was meant to be tied in the back, but I went ahead and tied it in the front and I think it's really cute. So, <laughs> so you do have options with that one, but I really loved it tied in the front. I, I mean, if it's meant to be in the back and you like it, go ahead and do it. You do whatever you want to. Whatever works for you and makes you feel good, that's what you should do. So I really liked it tied in the front, more off to the left side. And now the exact same dress that you just saw, but in this very pretty red, wine red color. So again, I went with the extra large in this one. Go by your measurements, your size chart. 95% polyester, 5% spandex. And again, you have the square neckline. The ruffles start right here at the back of your shoulders and comes all the way around to the front here. Elastic in the waist. And again, you have your belt attached to the sides. So like I said a second ago, I do believe this is meant to be tied in the back. If you wanna do that, you go right ahead, but I liked it tied in the front. But this is an absolutely beautiful color, and this would work for all year round. All of these dresses, they are, they're soft enough, but sturdy enough where you could wear them in the winter time with some tights. You could wear them in the spring because they are lightweight enough for that. So definitely some versatile pieces for all year round with Kojuin. And now for the next dress in this haul, I have this navy blue button front ruffle trim dress. Now this one, I went with the 2XL right here, and it is 95% polyester, 5% spandex, just like all the other ones that you've seen. But this one feels a lot more slinky, like stretchy, and a little bit heavier material, kind of like that travel travel wear, if you know what I'm talking about, the stuff that never wrinkles and you can throw it in a suitcase and it's fine. That's how this one feels. Very, very stretchy. I had just barely had to steam this one and any wrinkles that were in it came out. So this one again, you have the white buttons all the way up the front. They are functioning. You have this really beautiful seam right here on each side. Gives it a little bit of a vintage type flair right here with the pleats. You've got a collar and you do have a banded wrist. It is not stretchy, but it fits fine. You don't have to worry about it being too tight. Love this dress. There's the front. The back is just really smooth and nice. You also have fabric belt loops and a removable sash belt. Very generous fit with this belt. I've had that problem before where belts are just not long enough for a plus size dress. This one is just fine. And I love the little ruffle at the bottom. So I would say this one, and again, my measurements are down below. This one was a little bit loose right here in the bust and under the arms. So I noticed when I belted it, it kind of ballooned out a little bit under my arms right in here, but that's just because it was a little bit big in the bust. But if you carry weight in your bottom half like I do, you have to accommodate for that. So sometimes in certain fit of dresses, it's going to be a little bit bigger in the top than it is in the bottom. That's just life. It happens. But this is a very comfortable, beautiful dress, and I think that it will work all year round as well. And now for the next dress, it is that caramel color again. I told y'all I had another one in this haul that color, so here it is. Now this one is the twist front dress right here. So I went with the 2XL in this one, and it is, I'm guessing it's going to be the same material as the other ones were. Feels like it anyway. So this one is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. All of these say machine or hand wash with light colors. Like colors. <laughs> so all of these up to this point are machine washable. Or hand wash if you want to. But if you're like me, I have never dry cleaned anything my entire life. So I'm big on just throwing it in the washer. I usually hang things up to dry. You know, just depending if I'm wanting to shrink it a little bit, I'll throw it in the dryer. But typically, hang it up to dry, and it's dry in no time. So here it is here. So you do have that curved waistline here, so it kind of comes under the bust and accentuates this area here. And then you've got that twist knot right here in the front. You do have a modesty snap right here. I'll be honest, I'm planning on removing that. Um, in the trial and part, I do not have it snapped because it's up just a little bit high and I don't really need it. If you are a bustier than me, you may want to keep it in there, but I just felt like you could see it. Like when you look at it, you can see that silver. In the trial and part, I unsnapped it and then I folded this part in so you couldn't see the little metal pieces of it. So I'm probably just going to take that out. Now this one, you do have a little bit 
a little bit wider of a sleeve, more of a lantern sleeve, and you have the elastic right here at the wrist, which I love because you can always pull them up and it stays. Stretchy material, and then just a full skirt. I do show this in the trial part. It is a very flowy skirt. Love this. This is that same really buttery soft material from the other caramel one. It's just beautiful. I love this one. They do have a lot of other colors. All of these dresses that y'all see, they come in multiple colors. So if this one's not for you, they have other ones to choose from. So that's why I love this brand because they just offer so many different things. And now for the last dress in this haul. And this one is kind of a little bit of a showstopper for me because it's bubblegum pink and it is just beautiful. You don't see enough pink dresses. I wish that somebody would just come out with a whole pink collection. <laughs> I really do because especially this color, it is absolutely beautiful. And I have talked about this color before because the house I grew up in, lived my whole life at, until I was an adult and moved away, was this color. This was my grandma's favorite color and our house was this exact color with white trim. It looked like a piece of strawberry candy. But this dress is the exact color of my childhood home. <laughs> so I love it. So here it is, an XXL. But this dress, y'all, look at this. It is beautiful. So again, extra, extra large. I will get you the material. I'm thinking probably the same. 95% polyester, 5% spandex. Now this one says hand wash. Um, probably because of the keyhole and all of that, I'm guessing, I'm not sure. This one is a little bit thicker material, very, very stretchy. Um, you could easily spot wash or hand wash this, just put it in your sink, hand wash it, hang it up to dry, steam out any wrinkles with no problem. This would not take long to clean, and it is, it's not a dress you're going to wear every day or every week, so it's not like you're going to get it too dirty. Um, or you hope you won't. <laughs> So here it is. Now there's no zippers or buttons or anything in this one. So you have your little keyhole right here in the top. It doesn't expose much at all. You can barely even tell. It's just enough where you can see. And it's a faux wrap. So it comes down here with the banded waist. And then the dress, and I do show this on the trial part, the dress overlaps. So you have this really pretty draping in the front. And y'all, this color is so beautiful. So you have long sleeves, no elastic in the sleeves, but it's fine. You've got a little bit of a puff sleeve with the pleating. This is a beautiful, beautiful dress. But when I put it on, it was just a little bit, it's a lot of pink, but it was a little bit plain. So I already had a gold belt and I thought, well, I'll just try it with that. So I paired it with a gold belt and some gold shoes that I already had and it was gorgeous. In my opinion, it was gorgeous. There's something about pink and gold that is just beautiful. Because if you go with silver, it's a little bit colder looking, but the gold just pulls that pink out, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So you do have a lot of options with this one. You can belt it. You can leave it just like it is. And this one would absolutely transition from spring to summer. If you're going to an outdoor wedding, this would be beautiful. If you're having a little bit, not quite formal wedding, you could do this for your bridesmaids. This would be absolutely gorgeous. Pink roses and y'all, that is beautiful. So I just think that would be so perfect. There's just a beautiful color pink. Pink is such a happy, happy color for me and I just love it. So I'm really, really happy that I have this dress. So y'all, that is all I have for y'all today in this haul, and I hope that y'all enjoyed some of these pieces. I have so, so enjoyed working with Kojuin. I am so glad that they reached out to me the first time because they are a new brand to me, and I love every piece that I have gotten from them, and I'm going to be wearing them throughout this spring, this summer, into this fall. So definitely take a look at everything that they have to offer. All the links you need will be in the description box down below. So y'all, thank you so, so much for being here and spending your time with me. And until next time, y'all take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.